Lake Fire. Yeah, flames have spread into the Lake Hughes community. The fire has exploded to 10,000 acres in the mountains between Santa Clarita and Palmdale with no containment in sight. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with the latest on this story. Tina, good morning. Good morning. Well, firefighters have a big job ahead of them, but now that it is starting to get lighter, we're getting a better look at some of the damage this fire has already caused. We are at a home on Pine Canyon. This is one of the vehicles that was in the driveway that is completely torched. You can look as we turn around and you can see other vehicles, trailers perhaps that were here that are that are damaged. And, and you can see that still it is smoldering here. A lot of damage. This home basically looks destroyed, but still there are some hot spots and we've seen firefighters kind of driving up and down. Keeping an eye, making sure that these hot spots don't reignite. Now, let's show you another shot just down the street. We have another photographer, and what he's seeing is that a lot of the hillside, even though it looks like the fire kind of moved through this community of Lake Hughes overnight and is now moved back up into the hillsides, there is still a lot that is on fire, a lot of hot spots that firefighters are concerned about this morning, and that is why they're trying to take advantage of the weather conditions right now. Right now, there is no wind, so they're hoping that this is a time that they can start to make some progress because they know weather conditions will change as the day goes on. Let's show you some video from overnight and you can see because winds is actually one of the things that firefighters were concerned about. Fires, we often tell you, start to create their own weather situations and that's what we were seeing is some swirling winds up on the top of hillsides, almost what you would call a fire tornado. That is what makes it so dangerous for the firefighters that are on the ground trying to start to get control of this. They have to be careful about where they go that they don't get caught in any situations. And and also the steep terrain is very hard for them to navigate. So a lot of the firefighting effort, even in the overnight hours, was being done by air. We could hear the helicopters, see them doing water drops, and that's going to be the plan as the day goes on. Now let's show you some video from Sky 2 last night because it really gives you a scope of just how big this fire is. When it started around 3, 4 in the afternoon, it was only about 50 acres. But this is the Angeles National Forest. Parts of here have not burned since the 1960s. So it is decades of brush that was just ready to ignite and firefighters say it was explosive. The last report that we have is 10,000 acres have already burned. But of course, that was what we were hearing as the estimates last night. This morning, as it starts to get lighter and as we get more crews up in the air, they're going to be able to kind of map it out a little bit better, see where we are. As we come back out here live, unfortunately, there are about 100 homes in this area that had to be evacuated. We don't know exactly how many may have been damaged. As we were driving through this area, we saw maybe close to a dozen that looks like there's damage of some sort, but it's not clear how many homes maybe were damaged and maybe some were just outbuildings. So that's what we're going to have to find out more as the day goes on. But unfortunately for the people who live here, just devastating and also really hard to know DeMarco and Suzanne that this fire is still very actively burning and, and we don't know how long it will take for fire, fires to start to get some control.